good morning guys and I say good morning because it is bloody early in the morning it's about eight o'clock I never get up at this time you know that so I am here this is Langkawi it's in Malaysia it's near Kuala Lumpur but we're nowhere near Kuala Lumpur at the moment we are at this is the Els Club at the Datai the Datai the Els Club Bay I believe it's called and it's just oh my god I'm so excited because I'm gonna play golf with a guy called Chris and Chris is going to look after me and it's just going to be an amazing day. Come over here, I've got to check in because the girls are waiting. And when I mean girls, you've got to check this out because they only have lady caddies, girly caddies. That's what you want when you come to a place like this. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Check this out. Look. So it's like, take your pick which caddy would you like. But we have the lovely Ida here and Ida is going to be looking after me today. Hello, Hello. Hello. how are you? I'm fine. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Yeah, yeah. I can't see anything because I've still got my sunglasses on, but never mind. Here we go. Um, so we're going to go out in the course. I'm just going to caddy for us, and these lovely girls are going to check me in, and yeah, I'll show you around. So, so we are, and I keep saying so, I'm going to have to get out of that habit. Outside the Datai, this is their lovely restaurant, stunning, great tunes playing in the background, and I mean, come on, just look doesn't get much better than that. That's jungle out there. Can you believe that? So we're playing in the jungle. And yeah, you can see lovely Ida's waiting to go. She's getting all hesitant. She wants to get out and give me some caddy tips, tell me what I'm supposed to do. But before we go anywhere, I'm gonna have a lovely iced latte. I had one here yesterday when I came and checked the place out. My, one of the best iced lattes I've ever had. Why the hell we talk about iced lattes when we're gonna go out in one of the best courses in the world. Let's do it. Looking forward to catch up with you on the whole. This is Chris, Big Chris, as I affectionately named him. And our lovely caddy Ida is doing the filming today. Thank you, Ida. Um, we are here on which hole? Uh, this hole number five, Andy. Uh, it's called the Illusion. So you can see, it just blends in with the sea. You can't really touch the distance, can you? Excuse me. Check out the view. Look, I know he's lovely, and I know he's worth looking at, but look at that. Eh? This is jungle, you can hear it. Ooh, lots of eat. We've just been attacked by macaques, by the way, but that's another story. We're gonna film that in a minute. We've got some fruit for them in the thing. So, Illusion, Chris. Yes, yes, indeed. It's a par three. It's a par three. Yeah. Uh, it's about, it plays about 135 yards. And sometimes it's into the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. So, Chris is gonna tee off, and then I'm gonna tee off. You're not gonna see it, and we'll see how we get on when we get down there, because otherwise I get all embarrassed. <laughs> see you in a minute. Right, I'm back with Chris, and the waves, as you can probably see, are getting quite big, so I'm getting a bit worried. Chris, this hole is absolutely stunning. It comes out on the peninsula, and it's called... It's called Taluk Datai in uh, Basel, Malaysia. It mainly stands for Datai Bay. Taluk is Datai Bay. So, it's an, all the holes have names, and they're all very lovely, but there's Eagle's Nest, isn't there? And there's... Yes. Uh, what's the mountain one as well? Uh, the peak, we are going to the peak, then the peak. we have Majestic. And the, and the monkey one? Macaque Manor. Macaque Manor. Got to show you that one as well. Anyway, just take a, just a moment just to look around. I mean, this is golfing heaven. You know, it doesn't get much better than this. And once again, Ida, thanks so much for filming. Right, so I had a bit of unlucky in the water a bit further back. This is a big par five. It's called the Eagle's Nest for the reason there's an eagle's nest up in that tree. But you can't really see it. Um, Ida and I are now in, like we're working together, we're trying to work out. So, Ida, we've got how many yards to go? 147. So, seven? seven. Ida thinks a seven nine. Yeah. So, we'll see if Ida's right. Hopefully, I'm going to hit this sweet as a nut. There's the pin. Let's see if we can get it up there. Got a lot of carry here. That is commonly known as a pull shot. <laughs> it's when you stand too bloody close and then you hit it and it goes to the left. But never mind, I'm still going to get it. 
Okay, we're back again, and I'm with Chris again, and this is turning into like some mad golf video. Where are we now, Chris? On what hole? Ah, uh, this hole number 15. It's called Solitude. It's a par three. Par three. Uh, check it out, guys. Look. I mean, you do not want to fall down there. Seriously, that's a drop of my God. It's got to be a hundred feet down there. Uh, it's about 30 meters in old school money. That down there is a shot and a half, and we're going to both try it now. But him being the pro, go first. So we'll see what happens. Look forward to it. I love solitude. All right. <laughs> On the green. Yep. Well done, Chris. Thank you. Guava better than I can hit a golf ball because that went perfect. You can see him just over the back there. They're really nervous. Sitting up looking at me now. He's like, hey, that's the fruit man. Anyway, you've seen what they do. They're lovely. And we're on a golf course. 